Hey, I'm Christine Adolph, and I'm here today to show you my watercolor resist pen. I'm going to spend a few minutes just sharing some tips and tricks, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So I'm going to show you a few little samples that I've done, little florals, with my resist pen. And these were done with the, uh, the color confections. And as you can see, the um, nice white line is the resist. Uh, it creates sort of a batik look. There. And then I'm going to also show you a real quick uh, plaque that I did um, where I integrated the um, my metallic rub-ons with the resist and I used one of the IOD boards for that. So this is the bottle. Here it comes with a fine tip applicator which is really nice because you don't have to use a brush with it. Uh, the resist fluids oftentimes will clog your brushes up and this uh, applicator you can do polka dots, stripes, you can write with it, you can doodle with it, and I'm going to show you a little bit of doodling. Uh, make sure to keep this top in, this little needle uh, needs to be inside of it so that it doesn't clog up. So when you're done, make sure you put that on the top. All right, so this applicator is really fun because you can do little stippling polka dots with it, or you could even do some nice stripes with it. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a doodling, doodle floral, so I'll show you how easy it is. So what you do is you just, I'm just kind of scribbling some little roses. So I'm going to show you a little bit what a more finished one would be. This one's dry. And so when it when it dries, it's sort of a clear um, and it's tacky um, and it's opaque. It's opaque when it's wet. All right, so I'm going to start painting my floral. And as I paint it, everywhere that I've put the watercolor resist, uh, it, it will be white underneath. So I like to do a wet on wet technique where I add wet water to um, the watercolor and then sort of blend it out to do a gradation of color. And I will paint all my flowers in. These are the watercolor confections. This is the tropical palette. Add some green leaves. And then I am going to paint one more flower. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to paint this and I will um, come back when it's all done. When we're done painting, I um, wanted to share with you that I use these metallic accents. They're beautiful, highly pigmented, uh, shimmering watercolors. I use them in the background here for this burnt uh, sienna color. And so once it's completely dry, you can go ahead and go in with your finger and begin to just roll the adhesive or the uh, resist off. And you'll start seeing the white lines come through like this. And it really, this, this resist works so well and it comes off so easily. It just rolls right off. So you can see the white underneath. And it's just a really nice effect. It looks almost like a batik, which is traditionally done with wax. So I'm going to keep peeling this off and um, show it to you when I'm done. So as you can see, here's the finished finished piece, and you have these beautiful white lines where the resist was. And I want to show you now um, this little trick. We discovered that foil also sticks to the resist. Um, the difference is you won't peel it off. You will just add foil onto it, and you get this nice dimensional. Uh, foil application, these nice nice lines. So I'm going to show you that really quick. So I have a piece of uh, transfer foil here, and this is a very well-loved piece of foil. It's 
got lots of cracks and uh, different uh, folds and things like that. And I love it that way. Um, the more character, the better. Um, and you can just keep using this until it's done. So what you do is you uh, put the foil down, color side up, on top of the resist. And you just kind of trace it with your finger. And the foil releases onto the resist because it's a, a glue, it's a sticky glue. So just like it does with the rub-ons, you can see, um, see it right there. It takes a little bit of work because it's dimensional, so you have to sort of trace around the whole thing. And this is just a little little tag that I'm making for um, Thanksgiving, little place placeholders. So you can see the foil sticks to um, to the resist also. That's just an extra added fun thing about it. And then again, here you go, you can see that. All right, so I wanted to show you this little page from my sketchbook and it shows both of the things I just uh, demonstrated. It shows the resist lines with the watercolor, color confections, and then it shows here where I did not peel it off but I added foil instead. And uh, this really versatile product and I love the way that it applies on and creates these nice thick and thin lines. I hope you enjoy it.